So just doing this last little bit, there's actually some quite good walking stick. Um, shaft, shanks. Yeah, black form's quite a nice wood to make walking sticks out of. It's really strong. It's just hard to find straight pieces, although there is actually a couple in here. Um, so I'll try to cherry pick them out so I make them. Um, black form's quite harsh though. See, it's just shredding my leather gloves. Um, but yeah, not many left. Nice evening, make the most of it. Guess we won't get that many more. a bit of hedge outside and um, keep popping back in to check on Dink. It's up to five at the moment, soon to be six by the look of a back leg twitching. So just finished cutting and coppicing the, <coughs> well most of black thorn actually. Um, Mentioned earlier, we have then. Oh, that's quite rough. So, I've cut a few walking sticks. Hopefully, in a year or two, we dry enough to do something with. There's quite a lot there, but I think half of them are probably going to be a bit short. But hopefully, some of them will be okay. Yeah. So, with a bit of luck, we'll start doing the um, dig away tomorrow. Just some junk up there. Sort of out of the way, but near enough to the shed to put it in the shed once it's built. They're a bit heavy for me to move, so I'm going to move them with the digger and um, I'll drive the dump out of the way in a sec. So, piglet number six has just come out. Literally just trying to make his or her way around. Oops, be careful, my darling. She's thinking now she's finished farrowing. Um, genuinely, I can't tell how many pigs there are. At least 12 or 13, I think. Seems to have been rolling around in the muck. A couple of good sized pigs, and then there's a couple of runty ones, but to be expected, I guess. It's a big litter, actually. So there's a couple of heavy things. I can move the mixer on my own just about, although it's a bit of an awkward angle and a bit buried in the ground where it hasn't moved that long. And I don't particularly want to end up hurting myself when I'm here on my own. So put a strap on it and just move it with the digger. Couple of pig house spaces, which again are quite heavy, um, and I have moved them on my own before. But to be honest, it's very slippery, and I need to move them quite a distance. So again, just do it with the machine, and I will go move that plastic tank now. <laughs> on this gorgeous boy here. There's a little lever. He's a big boy, isn't he? 
Sorry, Forge, all I'm doing here is showing them, videoing your tackle. Let me move over a bit. It's an impressive tackle, though. He's a handsome dude, isn't he? He's a boy, isn't he? Has he got his He's busy He's working, busy. Sid. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're changing his colour. So two weeks in, he was orange for the first two weeks, now he's going to be green. So any um, new marks... Hello, gorgeous. So any new marks he has... You giving him a rub? You giving him a rub? We know they'll be due in sort of between, well, sort of two to four weeks, and then we'll change them again after four weeks. business of, of eating before hopefully business of meeting. See actually he served a lot of them. There's a lot with orange bums isn't there? Yeah there's a lot with orange bums. You see there's quite a lot with orange bums it's really hard to count them but he has served quite a few. That's a perfect example of the crayon mark there. And then there's a less good one, but it's quite faint on that one. That one hasn't got one. See how scraggy she's got one. You see, some of these haven't. Some of them have. Hedge attached to it. we put out last week. See they've really cleared the ground. It's quite wet the last couple of days. Got kind of local flood warnings and stuff. Um, and it has rained a heck of a lot, hence it's a bit soupy. But they've still got some dry ground on the other side. It's still small enough at the moment, they're leaving the gorse kind of alone really, although it's got maybe a foot or two. They've kind of stripped off but so maybe a Few more days we might either extend it or we'll move them they would say they're growing pretty slowly to be honest it has been cold and it's been wet and at the moment you can see they're just growing a lot of hair to keep themselves warm um, it does mean it's going to take longer to finish these pigs but that's okay they'll have a better life more natural life. Which is exactly what we want to give them, really. And leave 
using my lone tweet, I think. I'll just stand over here a bit. So here's the, well, the finished repair. It's pretty much a sort of a cheap running repair, really. So we've got a couple of new posts. Just pulled the wire back up to them. The barb's broken, so it's too short to put back together. So we've kind of wrapped it around one of the branches in that section. Um, yeah, should be enough to keep them in. So there's some quite good grass in here. Um, you see it's reasonable. You can see we crushed it where we drove through, but See, it's quite a nice length for the sheep. Being here for a week or something, maybe. Maybe a bit more. 